everybody. Welcome to the How to Dance podcast. Today we're going to look at a couple of exercises at the bar. We're going to start with plies. Plies means to bend the knees. And you'll see that in various positions starting in first, second, fourth, and fifth. There will be a stretch between each one and you'll see a couple of uh, viewpoints in order to get a full understanding of how the body works in that fashion. Tandu fifth. Tandu means to point or stretch. So the foot stretches along the floor as the leg moves away from the body and back to fifth position, which means heel to toe. You're going to see a short combination with a couple of changes of weight. Then you'll see a short stretch called Combre, forward and back, or side to side, depending on the way the dancer is facing. Then we'll have a short balance that includes standing on one leg at a time. Next we have a degage first. Degage means to disengage so your foot does leave the floor about two inches. After that you're going to see it in two positions. You have first and fifth. First is heel to heel, fifth is heel to toe. The dance dancers do eight of one and then eight of the other leg and then four and four and two and two and one, 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 one. From there we have a basic calf strengthening exercise going from plie, releve, which is heels down, heels up, and then eleve, which is to keep the legs straight and the heels go up and down. It's eight and sixteen of each. Then we start the whole exercise to the left.
have Rod Nasham. Rod Nasham is translated as round of the leg, and the foot moves as if you're drawing the capital letter D on the floor with your foot. You have forward, which should be one, two, three, two, two, three, and then it reverses. From there, we have a brief adagio where the leg will go off the floor through passe, which means toe to the knee, and then to the arabesque. At the end of that, we have a balanced and attitude where the dancers try to maintain their balance in a very tall, extended position. That exercise will be done on both sides. Next we have Grand Ba Ma. Grand Ba Ma translates into throw of the legs. The legs start straight from fifth position. It can go forward, side, or back. The leg goes up and it comes back down, side and back. After that, the dancers will do a brief stretch. In order for dancers to have their legs very high in the air, they often have to do not just seated stretches, but standing stretches as well. The following stretch you're about to see is called foot in the hand stretch, and it sounds exactly like it means. Foot goes to your hand, it goes front and then side, and you do a little bit of comrade with the foot in the hand to just get a little extra stretch when you need it. Next we have a basic tendu. You may notice it's very similar to the tendu done at the bar, however there is no bar anymore that's referred to as center. An average ballet class spends about 30 minutes at the bar and about 45 minutes to an hour at center. This uh, combination also has a turn known as a pirouette. This one actually goes from fifth to fifth. You'll see the combination once with the balance and once with the pirouette.
matter what dancers say, they always want to be able to do something very impressive. So we have a trick section that's coming next, and it's a quick cut section that shows you the various combinations of our freshman class here at Savannah Arts Academy Dance Department, and it ranges from the amazing to, well, the ludicrous. Just wait and see. 